Holly, it's on Facebook and whatever. I got sunburned. <clears throat> God is good. I was thinking about how big our God is. You know, we yeah. sing that song, Great, How Great Is Our God. Yeah. If we could just imagine that he is a great big God, and that he says that, that earth is his footstool, and, you know, and heaven is his throne. So you can imagine how big he is sitting down or standing up. <clears throat> so what are our problems and the situations that we face or the miracles that we desire, how are they in comparison to this great, big, big God? He can take care of us. Amen? <clears throat> if you have your Bibles, I'd like you to open your Bibles with me to 1 John chapter 5. And I'm going to be uh, speaking to you tonight on how to keep your switch of faith turned on. How to keep your switch of faith turned on. And you may think, wow, what do you mean? Well, we're going to find out what we're talking about. As all of you know, if you looked at the new signage, it's on the bottom, it says, Thy Word Ministries, a Word of Faith Church. And that's what we are. We are a Word of Faith Church. So if you don't want to learn about faith, you're in the wrong church. Because this faith, this church is was founded on the Word of God. And God called Pastor and I to teach about faith and to, look, to live it, to teach it, to, to grow in it, and uh, just to teach people about faith. And <clears throat> I was sharing with, um, I was sharing with someone in our Oahu church when I was there, I said, we are one of the last dinosaurs that are still around teaching about faith. Yeah. And it's been 30 something years and we're gonna teach faith till Jesus returns. Amen. Because that's the message that he gave to us to teach Amen. on faith and righteousness. So. A lot of times we teach about faith, and you get it, and you understand it, but it's like when you learn how to ride a bicycle, uh, you know, sometimes you don't ride it all the time, you put it away, <clears throat> and then you take out the roller skates, or the skateboard, or the surfboard, or the, the different kinds of, uh, you know, things, and, and then all of a sudden, when you go back to get the, the bicycle, you, you still remember how to ride it. Well... A lot of times what happens is that's what we do with faith. We know about faith, we know how to live by faith, we know the importance of it, but we put it in the closet, we put it on the shelf. And then we go and we get this and we get this and we get all these other things that are important but not as important, okay? And we, and we, for, we leave faith, we get out of faith somehow. We turn that switch of faith off. So in 1 John chapter 5, that's our jumping off scripture, and look at verse 4. For whatsoever, say I'm a whatsoever. I'm a whatsoever. For whatever or whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is he who overcomes the world but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? Now, when he's talking about overcoming the world, he's not talking about just the enemy. He's talking about the situations in life that you face every single day in the world. You may have financial situations. You may have trouble with your health. You may have marital problems. You may have problems with your children. You may have problems at work. You know, whatsoever, the Bible says, and whatsoever is born of God or whatever is born, born of God overcomes the world. <clears throat> God gives us a key. He says, this is the victory that overcomes the world. Say this with me. Say, my faith. My faith. So your faith is what will help you and the only thing that will cause you to overcome every <laughs> hurdle, every obstacle, every setback, every test, every trial, every tribulation, and circumstance that you are facing in your life. Yeah. It is your faith. Not just in God, but this message of faith. It is living by faith. Your faith, what you know about it and how important it is, is what's going to put you over. And so that's why I was talking about sometimes we turn that switch off. And we don't even realize that we turn that switch off. And when he says here, who is he who overcomes the world? He who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. So if you and I 
are born again of the Spirit of God, we receive Jesus as our personal Lord and Savior, then I want you to know something, that you and I were destined to overcome. Every situation we face, you were already destined to overcome. Why is that? Because Jesus paid for it on the cross. Yeah. 